finally some peace and quiet. Maybe now I can catch up on the local news. <sighs> oh, hey! Hey, how's it going? Hey. Can, can I have a seat in that bench there? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. I don't mind. All right. <sighs> nice day here. Um, beautiful day. Thanks for asking. Um, I hope you don't mind me asking, but what is that? It's my Jesus. My personal savior. Right. Isn't he wonderful? Yeah, he's great, but what's he for? Oh, he's my personal savior. You, uh, you take that thing with you everywhere you go? You better believe it. Everywhere I go, he goes right with me. Great. Hi, I'm Jerry. Jerry. Uh, hi, uh, it's Alan. Alan, nice, nice to meet nice you. Nice to Alan, meet you, nice. Jerry. That's a really good name. Thank Alan. you. I think it's biblical. I think so. Ah. Uh, Good name. Good name, yeah. Good Alan. name. Alan. Great name. Oh, Alan. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? Um, just trying to catch up on some local news, a little reading, yeah, quiet, quiet, quiet time. Quiet, quiet time. Quiet time. Good place to do it. Yeah. The park. The park is a great, great quiet place. Great. Lots of quiet things happen around. Nothing happens around here. It's quiet. You know, that's a great idea. You know what? I come here sometimes for quiet time too. You do? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I did last week. I was here for quiet time. Great. Man, birds. Children and mimes and oh it's good. You know what? This is a crazy world. If you don't get some quiet time out there, you probably just go crazy. Thank goodness I got my Jesus, cause I, I don't go crazy because I got Jesus here with me all the time. That, that, that's that's great. Yeah. Uh, since he's with you all the time, I have to ask. Do you take him on the bus with you? Um uh, well I take him, but oh we gotta save money. More money for the kingdom. Sure. Yeah. Um, what about uh, if you go to a movie? Do you pay for them there? Um, yeah, I pay for them, um, but movies are a little different um, because, well, Jesus and I don't exactly like the same kind of movies. Oh. Um, but, uh, see, I take special things for him. Like, I, uh, on some of the movies, I, I cover his ears mm -hmm. um, because some people don't exactly make holy movies, and so we have to keep Jesus holier than thou. Sure. No, not thou. Not thou. But you know. No, you know not me. I, you yeah, know. I'm with you And so, so I cover his, his ears and I cover his eyes on some parts. Yeah. And, and I don't put him under the seat because there's stuff under the seat in the movie theaters. Well, no, you, you couldn't get nacho cheese on your Jesus' beard, but what about you, Jerry? Do you cover your eyes and ears in the movie? No. Why would I do that? I wouldn't want to mix any of the good parts and like Cheerleader Massacre 5, which we went and saw last week, and I saw the skin and bloody and good dialogue, too. I bet. I yeah. bet. Um, speaking about dialogue, yeah. what about when you're out on a date and you're trying to have a little dialogue with the ladies? Does your uh, Jesus come along with you? Um, well, Alan, you may find it hard to believe, but I haven't had many dates lately. No! You can't be serious! No, I am dead serious. Since Jesus and I started hanging out, most of the girls don't want to hang around us. Um, in fact, most of them run away screaming. Yeah, I, we tell them, Jesus loves sinners, and I do too! But it doesn't really work. I don't have a good love life. Uh, you know, there was this one girl, though, and um, she was real knockout, very great. Jesus Do tell. Seemed, Jesus thought so too. Do tell. And we we were talking with her, and she found out about Jesus, and ran away screaming. But we we pursued her because I remember the part of the Bible that said we must compel them to, and we got to go to the the highways and, and the hedges or something like that, and, and bring them in. And so we followed her down the street while she was screaming and running. Um, but then she called the cops on us when she found us hiding in her hedges uh, of her house. Well, well, what happened uh, then, Jerry? Um, I got a really big restraining order put on me and I can't go within 50 feet of her house anymore. Oh, oh, that's not good, Jerry. No. What about, uh, what about church? Do you and your Jesus go to church together? Oh, um, well, we used to go to church, but 
really made people feel uncomfortable, which I don't understand how Jesus could make people feel uncomfortable. So I got to thinking, I don't think those churches are actually Christian organizations, or else they would accept Jesus and me. And so we stopped going to those churches. Well, I can say one thing, Jerry. It's been interesting talking to you. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Um, no one ever says that. They usually just run away or ignore me. Well, it's it's interesting talking to you anyway, but um, I'm not so sure he's going to be talking for himself. Well, Alan, can I tell you something? Please. Um, you know how I said a lot of people would ignore me? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we used to go around house to house oh. talking to people because yeah. I wanted them to know about Jesus and my personal Savior. Mm -hmm. um, but we stopped doing that after. Um, see that? Did a dog take yeah. a bite out of that, Jerry? Shh. I tried to hide it. But yeah, yeah, short story. Um, so now we've just been focusing our efforts on one on one encounters, which is what we're doing here today. Oh. Me and you. That's so great. I would like to introduce you to my friend. Can I do that? Sure. Okay, okay, I'd okay. love to hear him speak for himself. Alan, this is Jesus Christ, the one and only begotten Son of God. Well, hello, Jesus. Jesus, this is Alan. Oh, um, Jesus says he loves you very much and he wants you to accept him. He just said that. Yeah. I didn't hear him say anything, Jerry. Oh, maybe because you don't have ears to hear. Oh, I have ears. They're right here on the side of my head. I heard you say it. Well, um, I did say it, but that's, that's because my pastor um, one time told me that we must be Jesus' mouth and, and his hands and his feet, and so I speak for him, and sometimes I carry things for him, um, like drinks um, at the bar, and sometimes I even carry him places. Oh. Jerry, Jerry, I, I want to show you something. This What's is that? a picture of my girlfriend, Patty. Oh, she's real yeah, she's pretty. Oh, hey, watch it. You're putting your finger in her eye. Ah, it's okay, Patty. He didn't mean it. You're weird. Well, Jerry, I would be weird if I did think that that picture was actually Patty. Do you see any similarities between my picture of Patty and your picture of Jesus? I don't even understand what you're saying, Alan. Alright, so much for the subtle object lesson. Time for a more direct approach. My Jesus wants to know if you want to accept him now. <sighs> Jerry, your Jesus can't walk by himself, talk for himself. Yes, he can. He's real. No, Jerry, he's not real. He's a piece of corrugated Let go of him. Let go of him down. The only thing this thing is worth is Blasphemer! Value. My Jesus will send you to hell no, for that. No, he won't, Jerry. Your Jesus let go! Is real. Let, let go of my it, Jesus! I'm doing this let for your go own my, good. Put it down! Put I'm it doing down. this for no. your own good! <gasps> oh, <gasps> Jerry, I'm Jesus. sorry. Put your legs back on, Jesus. I'm sorry, Jerry, really. I didn't mean to rip it. I just wanted to prove to you that this was a fake Jesus. He's not, he's not fake. He's, he's real, I think. Jerry, I didn't say that Jesus is fake. I said this is a fake Jesus. Uh, but, but, what am I supposed to do? You've just debunked my faith. You ripped my Jesus apart. I might as well just go kill myself now. No, no, You're a no, regular no, no, mother, no. Teresa. Oh. Well, there you go. You fell in love with something that was not the real Jesus. It's not an actual person. This is an image. It's somebody else's idea of Jesus. Where did you get that thing? Um, I stole it from a kid's VBS. Jerry, 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 Jerry. A lot of people are the same way. They've heard about him in sermons. Maybe they've even been moved to tears by how he suffered in movies. But that's all they know of what he is. They've been holding on to something that's not really Jesus. It's not the real thing. But, so, I was just trusting in a fake Jesus? Well, quite a few other people believe in a fake or false Jesus. They've accepted someone else's version, but he's not the one revealed in the Bible. Well, but how, how 
how do I even know what the real Jesus is like? This was fake. Jerry, I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine. His name is Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. Let's go walk through the park and enjoy some quiet time together. I'd like to tell you more about my friend. Okay. I'll just leave this here.